In this video we are going to look at the Levels tool. Now it's an amazing tool and I find myself using it on almost every image that I open and a lot of the times it's the only tool that I will use. Now before we open the tool let's first open a few images. So I'm going to go over to my second monitor and I'm going to click on the image and drag it over and let go. I'm going to open two more so I'm going to click on the second one drag it over but I'm not going to drop the image right here otherwise it's just going to open the image as an extra layer on top of this one and I want to have it as an, a new image altogether so I'm just going to go to the top here and on this bar right here I just drop it right there and there I've got my second image go to the third one drag it over and let go so you have got all three images that I want to use now to open the Levels dialog screen, you can either use the shortcut, which is Control and L, L for Leon, or you can go to Image at the top, go to Adjustments, and go to Levels, and there we've got Control plus L. Right, I'm going to use the shortcut, press Control and L, and there we go, we've got our Levels dialog screen. Now before we start getting down to how this tool works, I just want to show you something interesting. And if you look at this thing here, you'll notice it looks the same as on the back of your camera, the histogram. Now, when we look at this image, we can see what the histogram looks like. And I'm going to press Cancel. I'm going to go to the second image. I'm going to press Control l once again. But now we see that the histogram has changed. And if I press Cancel and go to the third image, Control l we can see again we've got a completely new histogram. Now, that tells us that there really is no magic recipe to get every image to look perfect so you've just basically punch in a few settings there and every time you get a wow image. This is where you need to play and where you need to develop your photographic eye. So after you've watched this video and you want to get creative with a bunch of your pictures just open like 10 or 20 pictures and one after each other just open the picture Control plus L open up levels and look at the histogram and play around with the settings I'm going to show you now. That way you will immediately, when you open an image in the future, you will see, oh, I need to use levels on this. And I think I need to increase the blacks to here. I need to add a little bit of the middle gray. I'm going to leave the whites alone. You're going to get used to it, and later on it's just going to be a normal procedure. Just open a tool, and you quickly do your adjustments. Okay. Now I'm going to press cancel here, and then I'm going to start from the beginning. So I first look at my image, and I go Control plus L. It opens the levels screen. Now for this beginner's course, I only want you to focus on the input levels here. Leave the channel RGB setting alone and leave all the other settings like output levels and presets and all this other stuff on the screen. Leave that alone for now. And in the advanced course, we look at all those settings and how you can really do some hectic adjustments using levels. So if we look at the screen, we can see we've got a histogram and here we've got a black point which controls the shadow areas, we've got the white point which controls our highlights and then we've got the, the middle grey right here. So when I look at this image I can see that this image is a sunset picture so obviously there should be more colour and contrast and it looks very dull. So when I look at the histogram I can see that this section right here should actually be around here. So what I can do is I can take this black point and just drag it over to this section right here and we can already say, wow, just look at that huge improvement. So here we've got a preview, and I can click on the preview, and there's the before, and there's the after. And already a huge improvement. Now I can still fine-tune this. I can make it even darker by pulling the black point even further. And then bring the middle point closer to the black point, which will make it a little bit brighter again. And then I can maybe make it slightly darker again. Now this to me looks much more like a sunset picture. Let's look at the preview. There's our before which now looks completely washed out. If I press the preview again we've get, we're getting this awesome picture from basically a quick 10 second adjustment. Now when you're happy with it you just click on OK and there we've got our new image. So let's go to the second image and again control plus L and when we look at this histogram we can see that this image looks very underexposed and it's and the histogram is telling us that because we've got this flat section right here just the opposite of the previous image so what I can do is I can click on the white point and I can drag it all the way 
closer to this section here which has got information and already the image looks much better just look at the previous or the pre when I click on the preview just look at this compared to the after which you're getting now now with the white point you need to be very very careful if I drag this white point too far say about a year and we look at this section right here we can see it has completely blown out so be very careful what you do with the white point and only use it like an image like this when you can see you really need to increase the highlights so I'm gonna leave it right there and then there's my before there's my after. Now I'm happy with this but now the image is screaming for a little bit more contrast so I'm gonna take the middle point drag it closer to the black it's gonna make the image brighter and I'm gonna take the black point and I'm gonna br bring it in closer to the middle point and just look at those colors and years are before and years are after what an amazing result by just quickly dragging these sliders and moving them around we get this amazing result so I'm done with this one I'm just gonna click on OK and then we go to a third image when we look at it and we think well there's nothing wrong with this this looks just perfect I don't think I want to change anything on it well, a lot of the times so this image is straight from the camera so I haven't done any settings on it but a lot of the time it's not that I want to correct something on it I just want to fine-tune the way I want this picture to look so again control plus L I get my levels dialog screen and we can see that the exposure is basically perfect from side to side we don't really need to do a lot of adjusting here so now I'm gonna take the black point I'm gonna bring it in closer to the middle I think I'm gonna maybe increase the highlight slightly on this one because if you look close if I drag it too far you basically blow all the sections away so I'm gonna say leave it right there I'm gonna take the middle point bring it closer to the black and then maybe bring the black point a little closer and let's look at the before and after now here's the before and now here's the after now it's not as huge an adjustment as the previous one but it just gives the image that little oomph just to increase the contrast slight if you look at these little tentacle thingies right here there's the before there's the after it just make them stand out just that little bit more and when I'm done click on OK and voila here we've got our three new images so what you need to do is just open a bunch of pics and just start playing around with the levels dialog screen and you can have the exact same amazing results that I'm getting here. That's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one when we look at U saturation.